Hi everyone and welcome back to the Beginners Free CAD series for version 1. In this lesson we're going to venture into FreeCAD's part design boolean operations. In FreeCAD these operations exist in two main workbenches, part and part design. In the part workbench, boolean operations are ostensibly used and serve as the backbone for joining and removing volume to create the final model. The part design workbench also includes these operations, but instead of applying them to extruded shapes, they are applied directly to the body container itself. Under the hood in part design, additive and subtracted operations, such as the pad and pocket, automatically apply a hidden Boolean operation. When discussing Boolean operations in the part design, we refer specifically to multi-body Boolean operations. This can be accessed on the toolbar by using the icon that resembles two spheres together. In the part design, there are three types of Boolean operations. Use, cut and common. We will demonstrate these using simple part design primitives. Then we'll move on to building more practical examples. Let's start with a simple demonstration project to outline how Boolean operations work. I'm in the part design and I've created a new document. To create a body, we'll use simple part design primitives as our base solids. So we first start with a cube. I'm just going to set the defaults and hit OK. So we've got our first body, the cube. Let's rename the body. And this one we're going to call cube body. Let's create another body. And this time, I'm going to drop down the additive primitives and pick a sphere. And again, take the defaults. Notice I haven't moved any of these yet. Let's rename the body and call this sphere body. Note the active body is the sphere. It's in bold. And if I right click, we can see a tick by the side of the active body. We're going to transform the cube now, not the sphere. The cube is going to be our tool. Let's click on the cube and right click and select transform and place this into position. So I'm going to place this, let's look from the top, around about here. Let's hit OK. Bring this around and see what we've got. So we've got the sphere and the cube intersecting. I'm going to take the cube body and right click and give it a random color. So our green cube now is going to be the tool. This just makes it easier in this demonstration to keep track of the tool body. I have nothing selected. The sphere is my active body. I'm going to click on the icon for the Boolean operation or come up to part design and Boolean operation. You notice that the active body has disappeared. A new panel has appeared on the left where we can select add body. Now we have to pick the tool body. So we'll come over and select the cube. So now you can see the two have combined. There's an edge that runs around the sphere. They've combined into one. We look to the left, we have the drop down that says fuse. So they've unioned these two together to make a fusion. Let's come up and click OK and see what's happened to our tree view. Note that we've only got one body now. The tool body as in the cube, has disappeared from the tree view, but we have this new item in here, the boolean. We expand the boolean inside, we can see the cube body, and within that, we can see its components. To change the boolean operation, we just come into the boolean and double click it. And we can change the operation here. Let's drop this down to cut. The tool body volume will be removed from the active body where they intersect, which is here. Let's come back over and choose common. This operation finds the common volume between the two bodies, the overlap, and then removes the rest. If we click OK, we can click on the Boolean and down in the properties on the data tab, we can see the type at the moment is common. We can drop this down and change it from within. Let's change it back to Fuse and click off. I've gone back to the beginning. 
with two new bodies without anything in them. We're going to explore a limitation of the boolean, and this is detailed in the FreeCAD wiki. It says that tool bodies adopt the local origin of the active body. If the active body is not located at 000 in the global coordinate system, the tool body's placement must be relative to the active body. It may be easy to leave the active body's placement at the origin before applying the boolean feature. So what does this mean? First, let's set up our bodies. Let's double click on the cube body and make sure it's active and add a cube in there and hit OK. It's actually called a box. Let's double click on the sphere body to make it active and come up and add an additive sphere and hit OK. I haven't changed the placement of any of these bodies. The active body at the moment is still the sphere. We're going to use the cube body as the tool. So we'll select a random color for that. Now what's probably going to happen is an error and that error is going to point to multiple solids. So I'm going to select the sphere body and come down to allow compound and set that to true. This will allow the sphere body to accommodate multiple solids. This means if this sphere was split into two then we would have two solids instead of one. And this option, allow compound, allows for that. So that's move the active body, the sphere. I'm going to right click and transform. Now I'm going to place it in approximately the same position as we had before. Round about there and hit OK. So if we look at the sphere body and its placement and position, you can see it's changed. Let's apply a Boolean fuse. Let's come up and select the Boolean operation. The active body disappears and we're left with the tool body. Click add body and select the tool body. Notice it moved. So you can see it's gone back to 000, where the active body was originally. Let's okay that and look at the sphere body placement. It's still at four and 10 along the Y and Z. And if we look at the cube body and its placement, you can see its position is zero, zero, zero. If we hit control Z, so we go back to our original, let's hit refresh and look at the cube body and its placement and open up the position, we can see it's at zero, 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 where the sphere is at 410. So it's best to change the position of the tool body, this one here, the cube, right click transform, rather than the active body, if we're going to do any of the blue lean operations. And then if I run a boolean, add body, you can see they haven't moved. So with the boolean operations, we're just not restricted to two bodies, the active body and the tool body. We can have multiple tool bodies. So we add a new tool body, and this one is going to be a cone body. It's active at the moment. That's come up and add an additive cone. Let's hit OK. The cone's been added. I'm going to click on it and right click and give it a random color. Let's give it a different random color. It can easily be seen. So again, I'm going to make the active body the sphere body. The colored bodies are the tool bodies. So I can move those, click on the cube, right click and transform. And move this to where I want, let's say about here. You can use a placement if you want. That's intersecting that body. Hit OK. And the cone, right click, transform. And we'll rotate this around, something like this. Let's hit OK. We've got our bodies. 
The sphere is the active body. If I hit Boolean now, the sphere or the active body disappears. And now I can hit add body and start adding my other bodies. If I add again, bodies disappear. Our last body to add, and they've all been connected together. If these faces were along the same plane, the edge will be removed between them. And that's the refine operation. Let's hit OK now. We have the active bodies. If we're using multiple bodies, then if I come over to the Boolean, obviously we've only got one operation between those. We can't mix these operations between these bodies. We would have to create a new Boolean feature and choose the operation from within there. So that's a quick intro to the Boolean operation in the part design for FreeCAD. In our next video, we'll look at some practical examples of using that Boolean operation. Hope you enjoyed that video and I hope to see you in the next one. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B E Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos and I hope to see you again in the next one.